Ryan Clark power <coughs> rankings. The rankings coming off of the draft here. The five best teams in the NFL right now. RC, go. Well, with number five, I'm going to go to Tampa Bay, and I think people may have thought they should be number one, but we just don't know yet. Obviously, getting Tom Brady is huge. You have Godwin, you have Evans on the outside. Having someone like Rob Gronkowski at the tight end position, now knowing that O.J. Howard would be there, will give you that two tight end for, uh, formation or that two tight end lineup personnel grouping that Tom Brady loves to play with. Bruce Arians as a head coach is going to give Tom Brady a lot of opportunity to run this team. You had Antoine Winfield Jr., on the defensive side of the ball. I believe that he is going to be a star. This team is much better than it was last year. And last year, they were pretty good. But they still won't beat my number four team, who is the New Orleans Saints. And the chemistry, the camaraderie, the family that they have in New Orleans with Drew Brees and Sean Payton and Taysom Hill. Obviously, Mike Thomas on the outside with Emmanuel Sanders now being a number two receiver who has number one talent and is viable will help this offense out so much plus you get a healthy Alvin Kamara this defense stepped up last year now you add Malcolm Jenkins to that you have DJ Swearinger Chauncey Gardner Johnson can now move to a true safety position in the sub package and Demario Davis is the star and at number three it's the Baltimore Ravens Lamar Jackins Lamar Jackson not just a tiny star, not just a superstar, but a mega star at the quarterback position. Last year's MVP with J.K. Dobbins in the backfield. Now Marquise Brown, an opportunity to get healthy and be the deep threat he was early on in the season. And that defense was outstanding down the stretch last year. You re-signed Marcus Peters, Marlon Humphrey is a Pro Bowl player and an All-Pro. You also add Patrick Queen through the draft. So you understand with the way that this game is moving, you have speed on cornerback and the sideline the sideline middle linebacker like a guy like Patrick Queen it only makes you better and the San Francisco 49ers they finished second last year and they start second for me I don't know if John Lynch ever gets into the Hall of Fame as a player but he is off to a Hall of Fame start as a general manager you lose the Forrest Buckner you replace him with Javon Kinlaw who I know a lot of people were high on in the draft this year you lose Emmanuel Sanders you add Brandon Ayuk who is a player that fits what Kyle Shanahan wants to do it shows that Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch are on the same plane and have the same vision for this team also you look at what they have been able to do with getting Trent Williams, who to me is the most athletic offensive tackle that this game has seen, at least in my era and in this generation. He replaces Joe Staley, so now you have that protection and you have someone athletic enough to be out in the front of some of these sideline runs for this team. And at number one for me, it's the Kansas City Chiefs. I didn't really care if they didn't do anything. Patrick Mahomes is their quarterback. I'm going to say it again. Patrick Mahomes is their quarterback. And then you go and you add Clyde Edwards-Hilaire, Clyde Edwards who is a perfect fit for this offense to go with Damian Williams in the backfield. And they just said, we don't care if you load up on defense. We don't care if you try to stop us because we will outscore you no matter who you are. And that's even if you're as good as the San Francisco 49ers. This year is going to be exciting. This year is going to be fun. Fun, but when the Kansas City Chiefs walk into stadiums this year, they will walk in the best team. It just has to show on the scoreboard. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.